Uh, so I'm going to go back here to uh, another Tall Shadow question. Um, and he says, it's been stated over the years that a metal barrel is important in the functioning of an RMH since it depends on the heat differential between the inside and outside of the heat riser to make it draft correctly. And how does replacing the metal barrel with masonry of some sort work? Does the draft entirely depend on the chimney? So such a great question. Another one, Tall Shadow. Very, very, very good good question. And and again, and you comment on it. You say, I think this all came out before your Rigelist core and bypasses were not common in a standard J2 build. And that's right. So that theory of cooling gases and, you know, the differential driving the draft, I'm not going to call BS on it. Um, but I'm going to say that, do you remember last week we talked about Yanto and the horizontal exhaust and how the very first, how like our kind of our, most of our first uh, introduction to Rocket Stove World was through Yanto. And so we got a lot of these concepts sort of ingrained in us that really only apply to his goals. So if your goal is to have like the highest efficiency stove that exhausts sideways out your house like a dryer, <clears throat> then I think that those things do matter. I think that the difference in the barrel temp and the riser temp and you're trying to cool it and compress it because basically from the top of the riser in a build like that, like with a horizontal exit, we're going to try and go downhill from the riser all the way out the, the, the chimney, the exhaust, you know? Um, and so in those cases, I think that differential is, is important all the way through. It's, it's your Delta T. It's the same thing we have, uh, driving draft in, in chimneyed stoves, only it's the opposite. You know, you want the reverse Delta, you want the coolest and the hottest, right? You know, cooler going out. Um, Belgian Gulch, I was just going to get to your questions. I am going to get to them, so you'll just have to come back and catch up. So um, thanks for being here, my friend. Uh, so um, <clears throat> so with regards to the barrel and the cooling, and is that an important part of a rocket mass heater? I'm going to go out on a limb and say no, not in the, not in, not in the paradigm that we live in now. Um, we have now pretty much all accepted that you need adequate draft in the chimney to have a rocket stove that functions in a way that's going to be acceptable to most people. Walter Vaughn, good to see you. So most people really need at chimney draft because otherwise they're going to have a finicky stove and they're going to have back puffing and smoking out the top. Um, and uh, so I think it's really not very important that the barrel creates downdraft in there. I think what's really important is that we get enough heat into the chimney to create draft and drive the whole system from end to end. Um, so as a matter of fact, I don't think that that temperature differential in the barrel, and I don't think that has any role to play in a rocket, in a functioning rocket stove with a good chimney, because once you have that draft in the chimney, that's your driving force. Um,